tonight we're hitting the town. Tonight's the big party and we were talking Forget about... Forget the cable. Taking you out for some high class room. My name is Maria Gabriela de Faria. <laughs> I'm from Venezuela and I'm an actress. I just wanted to have some fun with my friends. Friends? Maybe these people are not our friends. They're our competition. So everyone's an enemy? I've been an actress since I was five years old. It kind of happened by accident, and at the same time, it was not an accident because I always wanted to do this, as you know, as long as I can remember. I did a bunch of soap operas in Venezuela, and then I got the call for Isa Take AM for Nickelodeon, which was the first Nickelodeon Latin America TV show, like original TV show, and I auditioned for the lead. And I believe that was my big break because we had to sing and dance and act. So it was like a great boot camp for actors, I believe. And it took me out of my comfort zone. And, and, and I think, yeah, that was the role that completely changed my life and made me kind of think, hmm, so I might be able to do this all over the world. Like I, I can be an actress not only in Venezuela. Baby. Maria, my evil twin, she is a tornado of ever-changing emotions. She one minute is happy, the life of the party, charming, kind, and the next she is filled with rage. Um, she's bipolar and she medicates secretly. It's hard, it's a hard character. She was kidnapped by the cartel when she was seven years old, so she's been working for them ever since, performing assassinations and really tough stuff. And she's constantly looking for a way out. Forget about the mess we had to clean up, eh? I already have. I need a break. For this role, I had to do a bunch of things. They put us in some sort of boot camp for assassins. I don't know if that exists. Um, where we would work out every single day for hours and hours, just basic stuff, you know, like punching and kicking, just to help us prepare for the uh, fighting scenes. I just, I was gonna go to the dance with Saya. You should have said something, baby. I'll throw in my fence. No, it's okay, it's okay. We were gonna do girls night. Some advice for people that want to come to Hollywood and make it? I don't know, it's really hard. Um, you have to really work for it. I had a bunch of people telling me how I was not going to make it. And it comes from out of love, you know? They, f they fear for you. They feel like uh, you're going to get your heart broken and you're going to you know, run out of money, which is true. It happens. It happens a lot. <laughs> um, and you just gonna roll you have to roll with it and you have to embrace those parts of life and kind of not pay attention to people and just follow your heart and just really really work for it but it's hard it takes years but it eventually happens it could take 20 years but if you really want it and if you really work for it it'll happen but we are all we'll have in this world 